Before entering college, many students are in search for the perfect laptop. The most popular laptops are the new 2015 MacBook Air and the Dell XPS 13. I tested both computers and did research to see which computer is the best one to get for college. The MacBook Air comes in models with an 11 inch or 13 inch display screens. It weighs a whopping 2.9 pounds and is 3 inches thick. The Dell XPS 13 comes in two models, one with a touchscreen and a non-touchscreen version. Both models have a width of 13 inches and an 11 inch screen display. The touchscreen XPS 13 weighs 2.8 pounds and the regular XPS 13 weighs 2.6 pounds. The XPS 13 is just 0.2 inches thick, which is less than half of what you'll find on most other notebooks. Unlike earlier versions of the XPS 13, which had a carbon fiber bottom, the newest model has aluminum on the outside. This aluminum construction also gives the XPS 13 a sturdy, durable chassis. The XPS 13 looks a bit slicker than the non-touch version because it has edge-to-edge -edge glass where the display on the non-touch version is inset with a small but more noticeable bezel. The MacBook comes equipped with a headphone jack and a single USB-C port. It's a versatile port, but you can only perform one task, otherwise you need to buy an additional adapter. The XPS 13 includes two USB 3.0 ports, an SD card slot, and a mini display port adapter. One of the biggest differences between the XPS 13 and the MacBook is ergonomics. While the Dell sports a more traditional touchpad and a keyboard combo, Apple developed a new mechanism for its layout, which allows for a thinner design. The result for the Mac is a keyboard that feels flat but delivers pretty speedy results. The new Force Touch trackpad on the MacBook allows you to lightly touch the pad instead of pressing down on it to perform various actions. The XPS 13's touchpad is smaller than the MacBook's at 4.1 by 2.3 inches versus 4.4 by 2.8 inches, but it's responsive and handles Windows 8.1 gestures well. You're not going to Skype or FaceTime in HD on the MacBook, as it features a webcam with a resolution of 848 times 480 pixels. The XPS 13 sports a HD webcam, but it's awkwardly positioned towards the bottom left of the display which means other video callers will be looking up at your chin or at your chest. According to Apple, the battery life of the 11-inch MacBook Air lasts up to 9 hours between charges, and the 13-inch model lasts up to 12 hours. According to Dell, the XPS 13 lasts up to 12 hours on the non-touchscreen version and 9 hours on the touchscreen version. The XPS 13 is more advanced in display than the MacBook. The XPS 13 has a larger 13-inch display and has a higher resolution of 3200 by 1800 pixels. The MacBook Air has a 12-inch display and a resolution of 2304 by 1440 pixels, plus only the Dell offers touch capability. The Apple MacBook starts at a premium of $1,299, which gets you a 1.1 GHC Core M CPU, 8GB of RAM, and a 256GB of flash storage. You can step up to a 1.2 GHC chip and a 512GB for $1,599. Dell gives you a lot more options with the XPS 13. The starting $799 configuration comes with a Core i3 CPU, 4GB of memory, and a 128GB SSD, plus a non-touch full HD display. The XPS 13 Touch that I used cost $1,299 and sports a 2.2 GHZ Core i5 processor, 8GB of RAM, and a 128GB SSD, along with a quad HD screen. A $1,599 version includes an even faster Core i7 chip and a 256GB SSD. Overall, the Dell XPS 13 has more ports, a faster core i5 processor, a better display, and a better overall performance. So, the Dell XPS 13 is a better choice for college over the new MacBook Air. I interviewed two girls on my floor who have the new MacBook Air and then showed them this video about the Dell XPS 13. 
MacBook Air. Check out a MacBook Air. Yes, I did, because my parents didn't want me to get one, because they're a little bit more expensive, but after researching it, we both decided that we should get a MacBook Air. Um, not really. I've just always been like a Mac family. Like my parents always had Macs, so. Um, I think like after learning more about the Dell, like I kind of wish that I like wasn't so biased towards the Mac because it seems like it might actually be a better computer and I wish I had known that before I spent a lot of money on the Mac. I think that I should have looked into it and that it's actually a really great computer for college and I don't know, maybe I'll look into it now.